Hey, good morning, people. This is the core guy. Uh, sorry for posting this video very late because I was busy with my exams. And after I arrived home uh, yesterday, I noticed that the core community has changed a lot. There has been two new rooms. Uh, that is the Monster Doll room and the Kit Kat room. The two main rooms for Galaxy Core duos. Now uh, I will be today. I will be posting a video on. Uh, monster dollar room and how you can install it and what are the features of the monster dollar room so actually what is a monster dollar room uh, actually monster dollar room is the first and the most popular custom room which is available for galaxy core uh, based on the stock firmware the monster dollar room provides stability and smooth operations through calibrations to improve the handset performance actually you can uh, take monster dollar room as an a deep loaded uh, version of the stock room which uh, with add on features like a uh, YouTube downloader and zip now for flash uh, downloading or installing monster dollar room there would be f uh, pretty much uh, three or four things which will be required at the starting the first thing is uh, you must be rooted uh, now the routing would uh, link would be given in the description the second thing which you need is a uh, clockwork mode recovery clockwork mode recovery can be downloaded from uh, my link uh, which will be again posted in the description the third thing which you require is the monster dollar room image which I will again be giving it uh, which I again will be giving it in the description uh, and these are the screenshots of the monster dollar room which you can uh, see it is a pretty nice room provided with many features uh, you can see here that these are the screenshots and uh, the link will be given in the description below. So the first below. thing which you require to do for installing Monster Dollar Room is put the image of the uh, Monster Dollar Room in the root of your SD card. Now by placing uh, in the root means uh, directly placing it in the uh, SD card not placing it in any now folder. Here you can see here is the Monster Dollar Room uh, which has been placed in my uh, root of the SD card. The next thing which you need to do is to power off your cell. Uh, the next thing uh, will be powering off your cell now we need to do this is because we need to enter the clockwork mode recovery now uh, the next thing is to enter the clockwork mode recovery you need to press power up volume up button home button and power button press these three buttons together uh, here we go mm. Now when the screen goes off, release the power button and keep hold the home button and the volume up button. <laughs> it would take some time. <laughs> now as you are in the uh, clockwork mode recovery, uh, let it gain the focus, yes, now as you are in clockwork mode recovery, the most important thing uh, trust me it is the most important step of all the uh, procedure we have done till now is to make is to make uh, a backup now click here in backup and restore and now click on the backup that is the first option now as i have already made my backup so i don't need to make a backup now the next uh, thing would be to install zip now click on the install zip and uh, we need to click on install zip from sd card now uh, here there are many options uh, wait a sec oh, oh, oh sorry sorry it is reading my uh, internet SD. here is the option choose it from external SD card click from there and then you need to go at the last option here you are monster dollar room build one zip click on that install monster dollar room build one and then here you go here you can see that installing it is installing the monster dollar room and you need to uh, wait for two three minutes uh, so as the monster dollar room gets installed now till the time uh, that monster dollar room is being installed uh, let's talk about the features of the monster dollar room now as we can say that as i can see from the post there is new status bar mod that is it is of the 4.4 kitkat type that you will get the transparent status bar the second is that there are new toggle options in the notification bar there is no two gallery added and there is s4 video player the boot animation has been changed and there is no new framework which has been ported from version 4.3 of the android of node 2 there is uh, that is this room has been themed as node 3 
and there is a safe mode option in the power menu also there has been some s4 stuff, stuff like uh, weather widget uh, there is no crt option multi window is also there call or message block is there the lock screen shortcut that is the shortcuts which you get at the bottom of the lock screen has been increased from uh, 3.3 to 5 uh, now there is also a ripple effect in the lock screen and in also uh, with toggle also that you can turn it off and on there is an android open source project lock screen that is pure lock screen some useful apps in the setting menu and added new features this room has been com is uh, completely detoxed uh, the odex sorry this app has been completely deodex de and it has been debloated that is all the silly uh, apps like uh, samsung play uh, samsung store has been removed now here we can see that uh, the file has been installed now uh, the next step would be to go back and do a wipe data factory reset setting now what this will be do uh, now what this uh, thing will do is to wipe all your settings all your applications all your data all your google account everything will be wiped from your phone and it will do a factory reset yes wipe all user data and now it is wiping all my data all my cache memory and sdx channel card now wipe is complete uh, now we need to wipe cache partition as it is wiping cache it has been complete now reboot system we need to reboot system so that the mobile reboots now as the mobile reboots let's talk about the uh, let's take a look at the screenshots of this uh, room now as you can see here is the uh, main menu where you can see a floating youtube player the next option is the lock screen options like you can add a ripple effect android open source project lock screen etc there are various shortcuts information ticker clock dual clock normal stuff which you get in your stock room the new toggles has been added uh, like smart shape you can add notification sync option then there's call block and message block options which were not present back there then there is new gallery app which you can see is like uh, which is present on the s4 or note 2 uh, brand of models of samsung uh, then then there is normal menu screen which you get now here you can observe that uh, the the notification bar has become transparent just like uh, it was used to be in uh, android 4.4 here we can see that the boot animation has also been changed it's uh, it has become more cooler according to the original posture of the uh, room uh, the the internet browser has been optimized for a better use uh, then there is that you can see what is the build version of the rom what is the rom name release yet rom developer uh, yes i would like to thank the rom developer uh, omkar dollar for releasing uh, this awesome rom to the galaxy core community then there is the internet browser options of now here three main things like lag reducer when you are having lag in your uh, phone you can reduce the lag there is a flashable zip creator for flashing uh, for creating a zip and then flashing it through a clockwork mode recovery and then there is also a youtube downloader which is present in built that is a very cool room uh, i would like to now say as you can see that it is booting uh, now you may notice that the first boot is going to take a very long time approximately 5 minutes uh, or 7 minutes and after that you need to set up your google account and everything else uh, till the time it is uh, i'm not going to bore you with this boot animation uh, that is it's going to take a very long time so till then i'm going to uh, pause the video oh yes it has uh, booted now you can see it is installing the applications which are present with the mobile now i have set up my google account uh, and my samsung account now now the few things which you can notice is that there is new battery icon here you can see it is displaying the percentage and then it is showing me that the mobile is charging uh, for in the first update it is now downloading something samsung account update samsung account update which is crap which no one uses 
I'm pretty sure. Uh, let it install the update then I'm going to show you a few other things of this mobile. After completing the first update now you can see that uh, the device is back to normal. Uh, I will click the menu option and then here you can see that this is the menu screen. The ROM is quite smooth, very smooth I should say. Uh, then there is the camera app which is present here. The camera app has been updated according to uh, yes, wait a sec. Now, yes, here you can see that the camera app has been updated. When I will click that, it is the default camera app which is present on the Nexus Lens of phone. Now you can see that it has taken the picture. Uh, yeah, the camera app is very beautiful. Very, very good, very good app. Now, here you can see that the camera app has been updated. You get all the things. Uh, there has been improved in the notification bar also here you can see that there are various new toggles which are present uh, you can see that both of my sim works that is sim 2 and sim 1 idea sim and uh, you can go to there are setting options has been also improved here you can see that the setting has been also improved here is this is model number android version it is 4.2.2 baseband version kernel version and build number now that is basically this is it uh, this is the monster room which has been uh, created by home card dollar uh, it is very beautiful room and it is must try room for uh, samsung galaxy core duos uh, if you have any doubts any queries please comment uh, i will surely reply to your comments next previous time i was not able to reply because i was there at my hostel I was busy with my exams this time I will surely reply to your comments uh, keep like keep, keep uh, liking my videos keep subscribing uh, bye